Hey, it's Allison, and it's time to streamline your board view experience and say goodbye to endless scrolling with board filters. Let's start with the basics. The simplest way to filter board information is by using the search bar. I mean, how easy is that? Another great way to narrow things down is to use the person filter to see only items that have been assigned to a specific person. Want to apply a few filters at once? That's where quick filters come in. Quick filters let you select conditions buffet style to zero in on what's important. For instance, we can see high priority items, do this month, where our team is stuck, in a matter of clicks. And here's a fun fact, that number to the right will tell you just how many items meet each condition. With advanced filters, you'll not only work without limits, but filter without limits too. Simply select a column, a condition, and a value to see results instantaneously. And you can add multiple conditions by clicking here. Within advanced filters, there are a few ways to filter your sub items too. Natively, you can filter by the parent, or choose to filter within a sub item column, or add an additional filter to tackle both. With your filter set, save them for future use. By saving filtered views, you can turn massive projects into focused, dedicated workspaces for any scenario. Or by selecting Me Dynamic in the People column, give each team member instant access to the items assigned to them with a board view that will automatically update based on who is viewing the board. Talk about a time saver. Before we go, I have a couple more tips for you. You can streamline your filtered views even more by hiding columns before saving as a new board view. And the board filtering logic works in the same way for dashboards too, so you can create powerful workflows no matter how you work on monday.com. To learn more about Quick Search or Search Everything, click here, or click our logo for more ways to get the most out of monday.com.